Hello friends, <coughs> myself Gaurav Jagdish Patak and today we will see another topic in applied thermodynamics that is psychometric chart. Now in the previous lecture we see what are the properties of the chart and introduction of the psychometry chart. It is nothing but actual representation of the various technical properties graphically on the chart that various lines which are vertical, slant and horizontal are there in the chart. So one by one we see what are the lines mean and what is the chart look like. So friends, in front of your screen, you can see the representation of psychometric chart. Now, in this chart, there are some slant lines, other are vertical lines and at the downward bottom position, there is representation of wet bulb temperature while as on right hand side there is the saturation temperature representation. Now on the psychometric chart we can see the temperature level is there given and wet bulb temperature is also given. This is all are concluded after doing the thorough study upon the behavior of the air with changing of the phase of air or water from solid, liquid and gases. As we know, the solid phase of water is ice, the liquid form of water is general liquid, we can see, and the gaseous form of water is vapor or we can say steam. To change these phases of water, various heat is provided, is given to water, that means for solid, for, while water is in solid position, it is like ice, if we give somewhat heat, it become change of phase up to general water level and further heating of water, it achieves boiling temperature and after boiling, it is converted into vapor or we can say as a steam. So what exactly happens if in the container we take just 250 ml of water and the container is sealed and if we provided continuous heat to it, after some time total water present in the container is converted into vapor. The point will become at that time that there is no single droplet of water is present in that container. All the water in the container is converted into vapors. That is the point where the saturation temperature is comes. That point is also represented on this psychometric chart. The point where the boiling point is rep uh, achieved is represented where the zero degree centigrade below which the water is converted into the form solid state that is ice, these points are represented and various other parameters are also indicated. We see which line is indicating what type of parameter. We can see the breakdown of these lines in such a manner that by red square that is dry bulb temperature lines which are where vertically plotted on the psychometric chart. There is a dotted green lines shown by the green box in, in front of your screen that is enthalpy. Another one is by showing with the help of yellow square that are the dew point 
temperature lines now we can see with the help of gray box that is specific volume lines and the last end curve slanted lines which is 100% saturation point lines also relative humidity lines are shown with the faint green box and the blue box with the shown as wet bulb temperature so the whatever the in last lecture we see the various properties of the steam or the water vapors or the particles in the psychometry chart now it is represented clearly with this figure you can see what exactly the lines indicated and what type of representation is there there is the dry bulb temperature enthalpy lines dew point temperature lines specific volume lines 100% saturation line as we explained already that where the temperature above the water container if heat giving is continuous it is converted into form of vapors that is called saturation temperature relative humidity grain of moisture and wet bulb temperature all these parameters are represented on psychometric chart now vertical lines are dry bulb temperature horizontal lines are represented humidity ratio or dew point temperature slanted lines are wet bulb temperature or enthalpy and the specific volumes are other slanted lines so friends we can conclude from above chart that always on any psychometric chart this is standard limit that vertical lines on the psychometric charts are always represented at dry bulb temperature horizontal lines are always represented humidity ratio and slanted lines always represented wet bulb temperature these technical properties are directly represented and by, by getting the values of x axis and y axis we can directly put the which value by getting the certain point temperature and at on that point we can conclude the dry bulb temperature humidity ratio wet bulb temperature and other related specific volume and all these parameters are given the values are tabulated in the form of table and this can be calculated with the help of psychometric chart this is the main objective of psychometric chart it is the graphical representation of various properties provided of the water at the all the phases and for the study purpose we can take these value for calculation analytical as well graphical this is the psychometric chart description now friend what kind of other related properties i have explained in the last point that other points are there these are specific humidity and it is represented by omega in our general practice it is nothing but the ratio of mass of water vapor and mass of dry air dry means there is the no water particles present in that air and mass of water vapor to mass of dry air it is the ratio of specific humidity and it is also represented on psychometric chart now for providing this we can follow pv is equal to mrt our standard gas relation and pv is equal to mrt relation calculated that the total pressure is ps and it is nothing but ratio about total water water particle present in the air to the dry air therefore the pressure remains at the constant and it is clear from above equation that specific humidity omega is the function of partial pressure of water vapor now another parameter shown on the psychometric chart is degree of saturation it is the another ratio which represented that 
इट इज द रेशो ऑफ एक्चुअल स्पेसिफिक ह्यूमिडिटी टू द सैचुरेटेड स्पेसिफिक ह्यूमिडिटी नाउ वी सी स्पेसिफिक ह्यूमिडिटी एंड सैचुरेटेड स्पेसिफिक ह्यूमिडिटी ह्यूमिडिटी मीन्स टोटल पार्टिकल प्रेजेंट इन द एयर टोटल वाटर पार्टिकल प्रेजेंट इन टू द एयर नाउ वी कैन सी द एंथालपी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म रिगार्डिंग वॉटर वेन इट चेंजेस इट्स फेज फ्रॉम वेरी स्टार्ट टू फे सॉलिड फेज टू लिक्विड लिक्विड टू वेपर फेज ऑल थ्री फेजेस एंथालपी इज नथिंग बट द समेशन ऑफ टोटल हीट कंटेंट इन टू द वॉटर पार्टी इन टू द एयर दैट मीन्स बाय कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एंथालपी ऑफ मॉइस्ट एयर इज नथिंग बट समेशन ऑफ एंथालपी ऑफ ड्राई एयर प्लस एंथालपी ऑफ वॉटर वेपर तो एंथालपी वी कैन से एंड डिनोटेड बाय एम एच एंड एंथालपी ऑफ ड्राई एयर इज एम एस प्लस एच एस ऑन द साइकोमेट्री चार्ट एंड एंथालपी ऑफ वॉटर वेपर इज एम वी अपॉन एच वी नाउ द समेशन ऑफ ऑल दीज शोज बाय कैलकुलेशन दैट द स्पेसिफिक ह्यूमिडिटी ओमेगा इज डिरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू एंथालपी दैट इज टोटल इट कंटेन एंड फ्रॉम बाय कैलकुलेटिंग द वेरियस एंथालपीज ऑफ वॉटर पार्टिकल टोटल मॉइस्ट एयर टोटल ड्राई एयर वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट द एंथालपी ऑफ वेपर्स इज द सम ऑफ ऑल द हीट कंटेंट इन पर्टिकुलर एयर सैम्पल since the pressure are normally encountered in psychometry the superheated vapor behaves like a gas that's why for the for checking the behavior of the moisture we follow the gas equation standard gas equation that is pv is equal to mrt in which p is indicated about pressure v is indicated about volume and m for mass standard r for universal gas constant which is also applicable for vapor formation which is converted from water and t is the temperature at that point that is the universal gas constant equation and by applying this gas constant to the enthalpy equation by calculating the omega value we can conclude that the total heat content is directly related to mass and vapor formation of the particular water vapor now friends by applying all these formulas we can contribute or we can extract the heat parameters and we can control these parameters we can we can cool the space of particular air now what kind of this extracting heat equipment it called air conditioning nothing but air conditioning our next point is directly related to air conditioning now for air conditioning system we required various phases of air conditioning likewise in summer days we required cooling of particular area or particular room or particular space in offices theaters malls and various other things that required essential that various peoples are visited and the temperature should maintain below the particular environmental temperature or surrounding that is called summer air conditioning another part of air conditioning is winter air conditioning in that days we required in winter days the air outside the room is very low temperature so heating required that's why we can divided the air conditioning in two phases summer air conditioning and winter air conditioning another one is year round air conditioning or central unitary air conditioning system this is the contribution of all the air conditioning system another one is special purpose or industrial application air conditioning that aims to provide the suitable environment for carry out the certain process like development of photographs that's mean we can in see in the 
cold storage, we can preserve the meat, vegetables, and the field uh, related other grains we can save in the uh, cold storage. Now, what exactly we required in summer air conditioning? In summer air conditioning, the outside atmospheric temperature is more and hence cooling of air is required. That's it. The cooling requirement is high in summer air conditioning. That's why we can, we can design the summer air conditioning for cooling purpose. Summer air conditioning for hot and humid outer condition. That is the area like Mumbai where the sea of our uh, ocean sea is very near to Mumbai and evaporation of ocean sea water is continuously there. That's why the moisture content in the Mumbai area is high. Compared to that, other remaining Maharashtra state is having a far from the ocean sea. That's why we required another requirement in summer also that all parameters should be checked by using psychometric chart and we can apply the exact specific method and requirement all these are contributed in the specific summer air conditioning now we can see summer air conditioning for hot and dry outer conditions hot and dry that means the out, out, outer temperature of the uh, environment is dryness, moisture content is less and hot. That is the requirement of cooling is another. The, this kind of air conditioning is designed by getting the parameter and focus that the condition is hot and dry outside condition. In this condition, we require cooling and humidification. In this type of conditioning, we require cooling and humidification. That both conditions we can achieve. Cooling we can achieve by extracting the heat. And humidification, for humidification, we provide the air filters and uh, weighted pads for the air which passes over the air conditioning system. The atmospheric air it sucks and added some water particle it get humidified, it get wetted and then by conditioning of this air we can improve the humidity also and we can improve the dryness also and these are the pleasant condition at that space we can require with the help of psychometric chart. Now another phase is winter air conditioning. In winter air conditioning it is used in such condition where the moist air and cold air is dry. The air in such condition is heated and humidified to the required comfort. That's why it shows that the conditioning of system is illustrated with psychometric chart. Moist air of conditioning enters the dampers. Sometimes we can require dampers for improving the uh, moist air containing moisture and passes over the heating coil through the filter. That like in figure you can see the dampers are there and filters are provided. So for taking from taking the air from the moist uh, outer surface or atmospheric pressure air filter is must for there because by Dust, dirt are enters from atmospheric uh, atmosphere to the air conditioning system. That's why filters are provided. And for removing the dust and dirt, that smell also removed from the system with the help of filters. That's why the pleasant and required moisture level is achieved with the help which is essential in winter air conditioning. That's all friend about air conditioning and psychometry chart. We can see another topic in next part of thermodynamics. Thank you very much. Thanks.